Being smart, IT savvy, and having friends with entrepreneurial hearts is the perfect combination for starting your own business. We are in South Africa, visiting entrepreneur Rapelang Rabana from Yego Communications. We couldn't make phone calls. We could only send each other please call me or SMSs because we couldn't afford the prepaid tariffs. So cell phones were getting smarter, Bluetooth was coming up, there was 3G and Wi-Fi and we thought there must be a way to communicate using the internet. So it's quite simply a, a computer application as well as a mobile application that you install on your phone via an SMS. So I've got Telfi installed on my cell phone, so you can see my Telfi button over there. I can click on that to launch um, Telfi on my phone. I'm able to log in and it'll connect via the 3G network I've set up or a Wi-Fi network if I choose. And there it's logging me in. And the first screen it takes you to is a, a dial screen, which is essentially your dialed calls, your missed calls and received calls. And you can call any of those numbers directly from the application. You're also able to do threaded SMSs, essentially grouping SMSs according to the sender. So you're able to see your SMSs in a conversation, their response and your response. Um, typically to how you see it in a chat view. And then you're also able to do your emails. You're also able to chat to your friends. You're able to load your profiles from MSN, Google Talk, Facebook, Skype, Yahoo, AIM, ICQ, and therefore chat to all your friends on that profile. Rapelang and her partners knew a lot about computers and technological advancements, but what business challenges did they encounter? Uh, there were a lot of small problems and big problems. The small problems that I think a number of people will overlook is just the cost of internet access, trying to get into a field where you require permanent internet access to learn more about the software, develop, the software we were developing was incredibly hard when we started in 2006. And then general problems that you find in businesses, access to finance. We did see every bank and government agency possible, so we definitely exhausted all those options. And there's certainly no venture capital firms in South Africa that will fund a company pre-revenue generation. Yego Communications set out to find a business partner and eventually succeeded. They joined forces with an experienced telecom provider. So today, Taufi is our distribution and our consumer-facing face while Yego remains the innovation house, the R&D, where all the exciting new things happen. Rapelang believes that being an African entrepreneur begins by capitalizing on immediate opportunities. Local solutions will improve the social and economic position of Africa as a whole. I would say that there are a number of areas or problems in Africa that need to be resolved, and the most powerful ideas come from solving your own problems. We started by solving our very own problem of not being able to communicate to students. And that's how you're able to sustain a company because it's solving something that's real to you. And most likely, if it's real to you, it's real to many other people in the world.